In this video, an example of a diode limiter circuit is used to help you learn how to perform DC bias point analysis with PSPICE. First, create a new simulation profile for the circuit. Name the profile as bias and click the create button. The simulation settings GUI opens. Under analysis type, select bias point from the drop-down list. Within the output file options, you can select all or any of the three choices. One, you can choose to include detailed bias point information if you have nonlinear controlled sources and semiconductors in your schematic. 2. DC sensitivity analysis calculates and reports the sensitivity of one node voltage to each device parameter for these device types if you have them in your circuit. Since there are diodes in the example circuit, select this option to check the sensitivity to its model parameters and enter the output variable as V out. 3. Choosing the third option calculates DC gain, input resistance, and output resistance of the circuit based on the input source name and output variable that's entered in the GUI. Click OK to save the simulation settings. Turn on the bias displays for voltage and current. This will show the bias values annotated within the schematic itself once the simulation is done. Click the Run icon to perform the simulation. Here, you'll see an empty window without any waveforms because PSPICE does not generate probe data for bias analysis. But because the bias displays are turned on, you can see all the voltage and current bias values on the schematic. Now change the input voltage value, set it to 4 volts DC, and rerun the simulation. Voltage and current values on the schematic are updated. Another way to look at the bias results is by going to PSPICE in the menu and selecting View Output File. The output log file contains DC sensitivity values in addition to voltage and current bias information of the circuit according to the inputs provided in the simulation settings. Now, you'll be able to successfully perform a DC bias point simulation using PSPICE. 